Hi, welcome back to this episode in our continuing series of tutorials in learning how to develop Game Boy games with the Game Boy Developer Kit in C. If you've been following us along, last time we looked at how to generate kind of tone sounds. This is going to be a short continuation of that, showing us how to make kind of white noise, noise sounds like snares, drums or explosions. So let's go and have a look at the code and get stuck into that. <laughs> So we're starting again with the basic project we've been using for a while now. We've got our main method, we've got a game loop with a while here, and just like in the previous sound episode, I've got my initial sound setup registers being run, so you can just copy and paste those as before, um, and I've got it where you click the joypad, it actually makes the sound. But let's go through channel 4 and its different registers and how they are quite different than the kind of tonal sounds we were making last time. So the first register, 41 here, is just basically the length of the sound, so very similar to the previous episode. We want the maximum length because only the um, last five bits are used, so we're going to set that to 1F. So you can change that if you want a different length, but it's relatively straightforward. The next register, NR42, is the volume envelope, so again this is fading up and fading down like we did before. So the first four bits are the initial volume, and I've got this on maximum here. The next bit down is whether it fades down, 0, or it fades up, 1. And then 2 through to 1 is to do with the envelope sweep. So it's hard to explain what this does, and you'll have to play with it and listen to it yourself. But effectively it kind of repeats, you get this kind of repeating sound in your sound. So have a play with that and see what you want. So that's the bits we've got. As before, we copy and paste those. Um, into one of the converters online to convert that into hexadecimal, that will be F1. NR43 is really the frequency of the white noise that we're creating, but we're not really used to changing pitch of anything other than kind of tones that we create, so it's difficult to really understand what this will sound like without playing with it. But the first four again are the frequency that it, it's actually creating. The next bit down is the the width of steps that it uses. Again, it's going to be really difficult to understand how that sounds until you play with it. And the last one is this weird thing called dividing ratios. Again, I don't really understand what it's doing here, but as you change it, you'll hear how it sounds different. So we'll kind of show you how you can do that quickly a bit later on. But you'll see I've got some notes here that um, a higher frequency will, will be a softer kind of sound. Uh, and when you've got bit three set, um, that it will sometimes make sounds more like tones than they are noise. So again, this is the binary that we are actually going to set, and that's uh, 30 in hexadecimal. The last one is relatively straightforward again, NR44. Only the um, bit seven and six are used, five through zero are unused. So seven basically says start the sound, and six, again, like in our previous tutorial, defines whether the sound just lasts forever or it uses the length that we set in in our 41. So here I've got that, yes, it starts, and no, it doesn't last forever. So it will stop in our 41. So the rest are just zeros. Again, that all equates to C0 in hexadecimal. So it's really difficult to understand what that sounds like. Let's actually make it, and, and we can play it, and you can hear what that sounds like. So here's what it sounds like. So it maybe sounds like a snare drum maybe or a small explosion. And the way to change and to figure out how things actually sound and how all of these different uh, registers change your sound and to find what you want, you've got to kind of go through and tweak them and play with them. And obviously that's going to be really slow if you have to do it in here and compile and reload each time. So thankfully there's a much easier way to do that and that's by using this sound.gb ROM that's actually available and compiled out the Game Boy Developer Kit. I'll put a link to that. And what this lets you do is you can load it up in real hardware or in the emulator like this, and it lets you tweak all those different values but actually try them out as you're doing it, which is much quicker for kind of finding out the sound you want. So when you first load it here, um, if you press start, you will hear um, sound modes one, the sort of channel one, what's currently set. And if you press select, it will go to this next sound channel, so channel two. 
And so the one we've just been working on, channel four, kind of similar sound to ours. But what this lets you do is go through and change these by going up and down and left and right. You can hear what the difference is. So you can kind of hear how the envelope works there. And then the steps I was saying, it's hard to figure out what that is, but if I increase this, you can kind of hear that repeating this I was talking about. And so the polynomial count frequency, again, really difficult to figure out what that will be doing. But you can see it does very different sounds for each different one. And the steps. Some of these will only make a difference when other things are being set, so you kind of have to play around with them to figure out what's going on there. You kind of see that's dropping octaves of notes. So once you've figured out what sound you want, I want this kind of weird boinging noise, what you can do is press A and select at the same time and it will show you all the settings in hexadecimal that you need for your values. So to make the sound we just heard, we would change NR41 to be 3A, NR42 to be A2, NR43 to be 3B, NR44 to be C0. So it's a really quick way of trying things out and then getting the values you want. You can see you can see all the outputs for all the different channels that are here. So if I've created different sounds in different places, it's a much quicker way of doing it. So have a play with this. ROM, try it out, find the sounds you want and then copy them into your code is a much easier way to do it. So that's all for this one, a short little video hopefully. Please make sure you subscribe and share this with other people and hopefully we'll see you next time.